so I lied. We're downstairs, but the lighting is better down here, even though it's freezing. And the dog peed on my bed this morning while I was drying my hair, so now my bedroom's a mess. Enjoy my living room for the second time. Welcome back to my channel. How have you been? My hair is just having this its own little day today. I don't know. If you have long hair, you know the struggle between like it's either up and it's fine or it's down and it's in my way. But if I cut it, I'd be devastated. Um, so yeah, I'm not happy about that. But also I have noticed in the front, I've got like loads of grey hairs all of a sudden. And I know I'm getting older and I'm nearly 30. Um, but like loads of grey hairs all of a sudden so yeah I'm gonna have to dye it and sort it out but it's just not being my friend today I don't think it helped with the fact that halfway through me doing my hair Roscoe decided to pee on the bed and I had to stop sort him out sort the bed out and then by the time I went back my hair went ah, I'm gonna be frizzy today um so that was annoying but so if you see me playing with my hair all the time just ignore me I'm very like annoyed by it I guess How's your week been? Um, my week has not been great. I'm going to be honest. It started off kind of like life stress has been high. Like general life stress. Like work stress and like home life stress um, has just been quite high. And then my phone decided to have a mental breakdown and just... It's been causing me problems for a little while. So the screen hasn't been working for a little while. Um, it caused me to like miss a really important phone call um, because I couldn't like swipe the screen on to answer the phone call. So that was really annoying. Um, I backed everything up and I thought, right, okay, this is going to be fine. Uh, factory reset happened, not by choice necessarily. And um, it deleted all my information. So literally like everything has gone and I tried to reinstall my WhatsApp um, from that back up and about halfway through it downloading stuff it just sort of shit the bed and decided that it was gonna like re-back up itself from just the information it had so it's lost all of my chats all of my media like everything is gone and that was really sad because I'm that person like I've got whatsapp chats from like five years ago like if you told me once in a whatsapp chat I have probably had it and I say had because now I obviously don't but that really made me sad because I'm one of those people I like looking back at messages I like having that like information and stuff there so that was pretty sad and because I was sad I ate rubbish like that's just that's just me in a nutshell that's what happens um I had to get a new phone in the end so I got a new phone and I started to like download stuff onto my new phone and it was only as I was doing that I kind of realized all of the other things that I had lost including my information for my weight so we have the um, like Weight Watchers body, whatever they're called, scales, and you have a user that you log in to record your weight. And obviously I've been using this since 2018, 2019, 2019. Um, and it's got like all of my weight information on it, but it's not linked to like an account, like an email or anything. And so that means like I've lost all of my weight information. And that was also really sad. Like I got really upset about it. Like obviously I, I record these videos so I know what my weight was and I have like a spreadsheet because spreadsheets are cool. Don't you let anyone else tell you otherwise. Um, but I was just sad not to have that on there and to be able to like see like my progress, I guess. So I had a bad food week. I literally was eating rubbish. I've had McDonald's twice. I've had pizza. I had a whole bag of crisps and hummus on Wednesday. Like, it's not been good. Like, so I was prepared. I said to Rich yesterday, like, if I stop on the scales and I've gained five pounds, like, I'm not going to be surprised because I feel like that's the least I deserve with the amount I've eaten. So I stepped on the scales this morning and I have gained half a pound and I'm really shocked. Like, I'm really really shocked because the amount that I had eaten I haven't drunk any water really this week like I haven't really done any exercise I've just been feeling really rubbish so to only have gained half a pound like that made me quite like happy I guess like obviously the idea is to lose weight so gaining any kind of weight is not great but 
to have the week that I've had and only to have gained half a pound like that's really good to me because like I said it could have been five and I was ready for five so this week this week we're trying I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna say we're trying the reason being is that my head is in it sort of we've got a lot going on this week um our dog is going in tomorrow for his castration um which was literally only decided on friday so i took him to the vet so his jabs on friday and i asked about castration and they were like yeah we can do it on monday and i was like uh yeah sure because i'm one of those people like at the time like i say what i think is the best answer it's like you know if you ever go to a makeup counter and they do your makeup and it looks absolutely terrible and they go okay so what products would you like to buy and you go oh, i have these ones even though you really don't want them or if someone does something you really don't like it but you can't tell them that's me so we've booked him in for monday and i'm a little worried about it obviously because he's like he's our he's our family member at this point like he is you know he's our baby because we don't have kids and um yeah so i'm a little bit worried about him going in tomorrow um i'm gonna be working from home majority of the week anyway but also this week should have been the week that we were preparing to get married on friday and it is sad i think a lot of people have sort of said to me like oh it's okay because you know you've got you've got december to look forward to and you've got the hen party in october to look forward to it and all of this kind of stuff but i think yes that's right and like we do have that to look forward to and i'm really happy about that but i think unless you've actually experienced like it yourself it's hard to like maybe understand like it is upsetting like we booked our wedding venue like three years ago we booked it in 2018 we you know had planned for this day for like so long and to have to move it i know that we're still gonna have that day or we're hoping we are so boris please just make it happen um it's still really sad for us because that was the day we picked that's the day we wanted you know we went and we picked that day and the day we've got will be great but it's not the day we picked it's a day we were kind of given and so there is a little bit of sadness around this week all of the things that we should have been doing um and all of the people that we should have been seeing and all of that kind of stuff so it is going to be a difficult week like emotionally it's going to be a difficult week and i know and if you know me i'm an emotional eater um but what i've tried to do is just make sure that there's nothing in the house that i would be unhappy with myself eating so i've got no massive cakes in my fridge and i've got no like bags of biscuits or anything like i've managed to like sort of take everything away so i'm trying to like remove my temptation um because i do obviously need to lose that weight in time for the dress fitting in may but i'm also very realistic of the fact that this week is not going to be an easy week for me um so yeah so the plan for this week is to be kind to myself definitely drink my water like i've let that slip this week and i can definitely feel a difference like i feel more tired i guess without the water and obviously probably doesn't help that i've eaten like enough food for six people but you know so this week just be kind drink the water try and be as good as i can know that i'm probably gonna have some blips because i'm gonna be sad um and just kind of go from there so when i see you next week i'm hoping for a loss if i'm honest like i need a loss i need something to like pet me up um so we're gonna go for that we're still doing the no chocolate um i think it's really i would not do this again like it's so hard like i really really miss chocolate and i think i would rather just donate money to the charity and then not have to do the chocolate loss like <laughs> i miss chocolate um but i've only got 11 days to go including today so 11 days with no chocolate i can do this for the first of april i am chocolate everything i tell you chocolate pancakes chocolate drinks chocolate cake like everything like i can't wait um so i hope that you were all doing well and that my blithery video for today uh isn't too annoying or too weird and random um but yeah i think this week has been difficult i think it's been the first week where i really really struggled and basically just kind of almost gave up a little bit um i kind of had that mentality of like it's okay i'll start again on monday and like that just means every day when you go like oh okay i'll start again tomorrow you just don't really get anywhere so 
we're gonna try we're gonna try and we'll keep going and go from there so i hope that you are all okay i hope that whatever you are hoping to achieve for this next week you manage to do that um just stay safe we're nearly you know at a time where we might be able to go and see people outside which is great if the weather will hold up it's been quite nice actually in the last two days so hopefully we're going to have a nice spring again and we can be outside in the garden and we can cook barbecues and we can buy vegan sausages from waitrose not for me obviously but they were quite nice to be fair um and, and kind of go from there so i hope you're all doing great and i will see you in the next one bye they're back they go out to leave me so that i can film and now they're home.